Hey everyone, this is Heather Pickin with La Dolce Vita, the formula for fabulous living. You might see me having this uh, new microphone. I'm standing up because I have a message that I want to share with you today. I feel like I can project my voice a little bit better here. So I want to say hello to everyone that has joined me now or later. And I want to talk about, okay, so we're in January and you might have set New Year's resolutions with your business or any area of your life. And what I typically find that happens is that every time you know you tell yourself, I should, I must, and you're not taking action, there's a reason why. You might feel that you're blocked, right? And you feel unfocused, you feel uncertain about what you should be doing. And I totally get that because I have been there myself many times and so um i have to share a little conversation with you that i had a i had a client the other day and we were having our session and she it was a personal thing that she uh wanted to make a decision on and what it came down to the reason why she was not able to take action or gain clarity is that she was seeking the approval of other people how many times have you stopped yourself from putting yourself out there? It could be your business or any area of your life because you're finding that need of approval for other people. And I'm here to tell you, what stops people from truly being successful, and I'm talking about any area of their life, is needing that approval. Now, this approval can come in many different forms. It can come in a form of a partner. It could come in a form of your friends, even society. Think about the self-imposed uh, beliefs that society might have upon you where you're holding yourself back or that feeling that you don't want to be seen because, well, what will people think of me? If I put myself out there in my most unique expression of how I want to be seen, and if people don't like me, what's going to happen? And I'm here to tell you in the world that we live today, there's always going to be someone that does not like you. And you have to let go of needing the constant approval of other people. And when you let go, when you can truly be you and stand in your own power, you're no longer gonna subordinate to anyone. You're not gonna have to ask permission to do something extraordinary with your life, whether you have a business or you wanna pursue whatever careers or goals that you want. And I can say this with certainty because my life my mission, my purpose, my journey has all been about those choices, about not being able to stand in my power, particularly, and I kind of laugh, in the form of relationships. So when I was really disempowered in my relationships, I could not be myself. Now, here's what happens. When you're not true to yourself, what happens inside of yourself internally is it changes your physiology on a cellular level where you start feeling unfocused, you start feeling unfulfilled, and you might notice that you have less energy and start getting sick. Uh, you know, they have now done the research on epigenetics to demonstrate that those genes can get turned on and create things like autoimmune disease. Now, here's the interesting thing. When you are not living with your highest purpose or highest purpose or what I call your highest personal values when you're not living congruently you will start beating yourself up and you will shrink and you'll actually shrink your lifespan to the degree of you not being true to yourself so when I was living years ago I was living in Charleston South Carolina and I was pursuing my fitness business I remember being in a relationship where I started worrying about everything. I mean, obviously the relationship was not aligned with who I was. I was worrying about money. I was constantly stressed out and I could not make a decision for what I really wanted because I was so worried about the other person. Now, literally overnight, here's what happened on a physical level. Because I was stressed out, I started getting gray hairs at a very young age. And how does that happen? Well, 
you're activating that inside of you. Your, your cells have a consciousness. And if you don't believe me, look at your life. Do you feel inspired? Do you have the health and vitality that is guiding you to your purpose and why you're here? And the great thing is, is that you have total control of your decisions, your perceptions, and you you can change that direction. So with this conversation with this client the other day, I basically shed the light. I said, listen, you got to look at this. Don't beat yourself up. But the reality is, is that, you know, you're making a decision or not making a decision based on the needing of approval of other people. I mean, how many times do we do that? Needing or seeking the approval of our loved ones in the fear that we could lose someone close to us. I know it's, it's like a heavy situation, but I want you to check in and look or ask yourself, is this blocking myself from my success? I find for most people it is. It's blocking them. There is some subordination to not, you know, wanting the approval of other people. And I'm here to tell you, if you are on a mission with your life and know I've got something inside of me that needs to get out, whether you have a business or you want to expand your career, if you are not making empowering decisions for yourself, then you're going to find that you're going to start shrinking instead of shining. Your lifespan is going to go like this and you're going to start doubting yourself. So I remember, of course, again, my, my stories are all about the, the, the so-called bad. I say so-called bad relationships because to me, it's not about a bad relationship. It is about an experience. If I were to say, wow, that person really treated me this way or they were this, this and this and started to create resentment. What happens is that you have these perceptions inside of your unconscious mind. And if you don't let go of that, what happens is, again, you start creating sickness and illness in your body. So the most important thing is to get clear. When you get clear on what you want and you're so certain that you know you're living by your highest personal values, that you have that unique formula inside of you, you will take action. You will no longer second guess yourself. And that is what I'm inspired to do. You know, I kind of look at my past history and the things that have been such a mess in my life and really giving my message and sharing that, particularly with women and women leaders and women entrepreneurs that want to make a difference in this world. And that's why if you haven't put, picked up my book on um, my new book, The La Dolce Vita Formula, the reason why I wrote this book is that I knew that my life was just going sideways. When I was in bad relationships, here's what happened. I want to paint the picture. Maybe you're in a great relationship now, and if you are, that's, that's amazing. But when you look at the areas of life, when you go around the wheel of life, and you are disempowered, maybe in your health, or maybe you are disempowered in your relationships or your, your finances, or any other area, it could be your mindset, beating yourself, beating up on yourself constantly. What happens is that you start second guessing and doubting yourself. Now, if you're an entrepreneur like me, the minute I was not true to myself, what would happen is that my self-doubt would go down, okay? At the same time of my self-doubt, my bank, my bank account would decrease. This is a correlation. So I want you to look at your life right now. And if you're not waking up feeling inspired with what you're doing, you're telling yourself, I have to do this, I must, I should, it's because you're not following your unique formula. And in my book, The La Dolce Vita Formula, I talk about it. I share my story and the stories of women that I have worked with all around the world that have faced the same challenges whether it be in business or any other situation. But I found that when you're not true to who you are, then you start creating chaos and confusion. And so again, it's so important to get clear. Uh, one of the stories I share in the book is one of my clients, uh, she was in a bad relationship. And what happened, here's the interesting thing, it's the same thing I'm sharing with you today, is she was in this bad relationship, and her husband at the time 
just didn't want it. He didn't want to make it work out. You know, he's giving her all these excuses. And I'm like, it takes two people to have a relationship. And she was so like, I'm going to do whatever it takes, Heather. I'm going to get counseling or whatever. I'm like, okay, great. And he didn't want to do anything. Now, because she had a high value in being in a relationship, her health went down. Okay. So her value of, I want to be in this amazing relationship. I love my husband, her health decline. And at the same time, uh, you know, her work, she was not inspired. She was attracting so much chaos in her relationship. So there was boundary issues and she was actually, it was trans, it was transferring also at her work. So she was creating, uh, chaos in her work. The same thing. It was mirroring each other in the relationship and at her work. And I said, listen, you are attracting this. You're attracting this to you because you're not clear. You're not standing firm in your boundaries. And this is what happens. I said, let's look at this as a beautiful lesson to empower you. And, and this is the thing, you know, how many times do you get in your own head and myself included when you think you're going through a situation and you think it's like the worst case scenario but what i'm here to share with you is that in the moment it's okay to be thinking negatively but you have to get yourself out of it because if you don't that's where you start second guessing yourself you doubt yourself uh, again it goes back to seeking the approval of other people and then you live a very small existence. And I don't want that to happen to you. But when you value yourself, so one of the things that we did about letting go of approval is to increase your value and worth. Do you know that a lot of women and people just in general, when they don't value themselves, what happens is they attract more of the same stuff that they really don't want because they're being a match to it. And as a result, it's it's just like they feel like they can't get out of it and they start beating themselves up. It's like this vicious circle that goes around and around. But you've got the power to change it if you really understand that the degree of how you value yourself will also be the degree of how other people value you. So I can use this in a business um, situation. So let's just say um, you are a service provider and you're not charging what you're worth because you don't see the value inside of yourself, right? So if you don't see the value inside of you, what happens is unconsciously, you will attract those people to you, um, kind of like a mirror, to make you to get, you know, to realize like, wait a minute, I am not where I wanna be, I don't wanna work with these types of people that that don't value me. And that that's a whole nother conversation in and of itself. So we're talking about today, uh, you know, what, what are some of the things that are blocking you? And again, the number one thing that I find that really takes people out of living their true purpose and their mission is the need of approval. So one of the things that you can do is make a list of where you're not standing up for yourself. Where are you holding back? Where do you think, gosh, I'd really love to do this, but what will so-and-so think? I want to leave you with one more example of in my life um, how this how this happened. So uh, when I was in a relationship, uh, it's like counting how many how many relationships, but I, I kind of laugh, but at the same time, it's you know, to me, it's just an experience. But when I was in a relationship, let's call this person uh, Joe, okay? Uh, when I was in a relationship with Joe, I really wanted what was really high in my personal values was my health and fitness. So I have a certain way I like to eat. I like to exercise. Like I really feel good about myself. Now, because this person was not aligned with my values, you know, they had the opposite of how they like to eat. Like they were a vegetarian. I'm not. And I have no judgment whether someone wants to be a vegetarian. But when someone imposes their values on me and doesn't respect me for who I am, then we have a little bit of chaos and confusion. So I'm eating the way that I want, I'm working out, and they started to get threatened because I was in this kind of healthy regimen and routine, and they wanted me to stop working out. And so what happened is because I really didn't know who I was at that time, and I was needing the approval, I was fearing the loss of the relationship. So 
I really cut down on my workouts and I resented that person. And I'm telling you, that was one of the best lessons because it taught me I didn't have to stop being me. I could still be who I was. And so when I got into the next relationship, I said, listen, this is a deal breaker. This is who I am. And it was really interesting because that next relationship, they had a problem with it. And I said, listen, I am not changing who I am. So isn't it interesting how we attract people into our lives to really get us to pay attention, to wake up? And you're with yourself 24-7 and realize that you're going to be in the constant flow of people rejecting you and just get used to it. I, I have to share one more story. And it's with a with a client that I'm working with, and it's interesting because of their um, of her ethnic background, the family values are so strong about you know you've got to do things a certain way, and her mother did not approve of her doing the business that she wanted to do, and so what happened? Here's the vicious cycle: the mother didn't approve of what she wanted to pursue, and she was so passionate about it. She was beating her up, beating my client up mentally, going, why are you doing this? You can't do it. And so she started shrinking. And I, and I flipped the switch on our, in her mind. And I said, I said, listen, our, this is something you want to do, right? This is what you want to do for the rest of your life. So why do you need your mother's approval? Why? You're a grown woman, right? Why do you need her approval? So I went through an exercise to share with her how it was a benefit for her mom actually saying what she was saying to her, even though you might say, wait a minute, that's terrible. But she was able to balance her mind out so that she could give herself permission to shine instead of shrink. Now, here was the result. It was a couple of days later, and we were working out a program for her. And I said, this is how much I want you to charge. I showed her to kind of see the value in her mind unconsciously so she could connect with her, uh, connect with it. And she let go of that program with the with her mom's voice in her head. And as a result, she was able to fill up that program and, and make the most money that she's ever made selling that particular program. So the lesson here is to not resent other people for how they're quote unquote treating you, but is to empower yourself in your business and in your life and to allow yourself to move forward because there's always going to be people that don't approve of you. Always, always, I 100% guarantee it. When you know what your own personal value is, and I go through that in my book, when you know what that is, you give yourself permission to be you. And I'm telling you, it is still challenging sometimes, even for me, even though I teach this, I constantly have to coach myself and going, wait a minute, am I needing the approval of this other person? But I know myself and I know when I'm attracting someone to make me, you know, look at this, right? 100%. And so I can flip the switch. But if you don't have those tools, if you don't know who you are, and you don't stand in your power, you're gonna let other people walk all over you. And you could be a high powered CEO, you could be a mother, it doesn't matter. We all face the same issues. So that is my message and my mission and my lesson for you today. So I hope that helps you. And if you find this message to be helpful, uh, please tag someone in this or, or share it with someone. Uh, because again, it's my mission, especially now, 2018 and beyond to get this message out there in a bigger way. I've got some big plans uh, for this year and beyond. So stick with me and hope you have a great day. Take care.